Hey guys, so today I was, I'm actually building out a client's website right now, so I wanna kind of just record this for you guys really quickly, um, just to kind of go over opt on-page optimization. So if you don't understand what opt on-page optimization is or you don't know how to do it, just stay until the end of this video because I'm gonna bang it out really quickly on a client's site. And then what you'll see is you'll see probably instant rankings when we do it because the on-page is gonna be done so well. So let me get to it, just uh, feel free to watch and if you like, um, just make sure you like and comment. Uh, so let's get right to it, okay guys? So I'm gonna go into my computer now, I'll see you there. Okay guys, so we're on my site and um, today we're gonna do, I'm gonna build out a full page for a keyword um, that we're gonna target. So in this case scenario, let's just target the keyword. We're gonna go for, I'm just, I don't know yet, let's just go for uh, Naugatuck uh, Social Media Company. Okay, so this is the keyword we're gonna go for. Um, so we're going to do some on-page content all around this keyword and we're going to rank it uh, pretty instantly once we add a page to my website. Um, now I did say I had a client's website I was going to show, um, but I just realized that I outsourced that article anyways so I don't have to do it. So I'm just going to do one on my site and just kind of show you guys exactly what you need to be doing when doing on-page optimization for SEO. Alright, so the first thing you need to have is Yoast SEO. If you don't have Yoast SEO, make sure you download it right now because Yoast SEO will save you so much time, okay? So a few things to note when you're doing this. Uh, the first thing is, is your title, which can be changed after, should be your keyword or something relative to your keyword, right? And the reason why is because when you do that, the URL actually just automatically structures itself nice and clean for the keyword you're targeting, okay? So I'm gonna cover a few different things. First and foremost is your heading. So this is your heading tag, okay? If you're using WordPress, the H1 tag is immediately implemented, so I would do something like um, best Naugatuck social media company, okay? And then what that's gonna do is it's gonna, it, you know, Google's gonna recognize that this is what my, the, what my content's all about. And then you also wanna have the keyword within your first paragraph or your first sentence. So I would say something like looking for the best Naugatuck social media marketing company. Okay, so what that's going to do is it's also going to tell Google that um, you, what the page is about. So it'll, it'll allow you to rank your website very quickly. So the next thing I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to write a bunch of content, and then I'll be back when there's stuff that I think is important for you to take a note of, okay? So let me write this out, and then we'll be back. Okay, guys, so we are back. So it's all built. Um, we're going after this keyword, and I just want to make a few things clear here, okay? Um, the first thing is just always make sure that all of your content is spelled out completely correct. And you can use tools like Grammarly to make sure that this gets done. And the reason why I say that is because um, Google's going to crawl the site, and if they catch spelling errors, they're actually going to like penalize you because the big thing Google's looking at now is content. So you got to make sure all your content's unique. It doesn't look like it was stuffed. Okay. And then the next thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you include your keyword a few times in the copy. Okay. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. So if I type in Naugatuck, social media company, uh, it, sh it shows up four times. And you wanna do that because the more keyword density that you have on your page, um, actually they recommend a certain amount, but don't put it too much, but the more keyword density you have, the, typically the higher Google will find your page. And then the third thing you wanna look for is an image. You wanna add content, so it has to be unique, so make sure you add this type of image because what this image is gonna do is it's gonna allow you to do an alt text and in that alt text, you should have your keyword as well. And then the last thing that you really need to make sure you do is in a heading, in a second, in a heading two, add the keyword in um, just so Google gets that second signal of what you're talking about. And then make sure that you embed your map. And if you don't know how to do that, you can go over to Google Maps. Just search Google for Google Maps. And then once you do that, you can click here. And then once you search Google Maps, you can actually just type in your address here. So for me, let's just say 495 Union Street, Waterbury. What you'd wanna do then is just make sure you share it, get the embedded map for your site, and then put it on your website. So that's how you get that Google map kind of thing located on your site. And one last thing, guys, is make sure that your word count is over 300. And once you've kind of done all this, here's how you can double check. So uh, Yoast SEO gives you this little option and you can actually type in your focus keyword and 
once your focus keyword's in there, you're gonna wanna edit your snippet and just make sure that your title is appealing, right? So Nagatech social media company, make sure your keywords to the is in there and then um, just write results like no other, something like that. Now, I, I probably won't get much traffic to this page. I don't plan on it. And then what you wanna do is in the meta, you also wanna, um, you also wanna make sure you add the, the keyword in there, okay? All right, guys, so that's the meta. So you just wanna make sure you do that, add the keyword in there. And then the last thing you wanna do is just make sure that all of this is checked green. Um, especially, all, like, it's, if you have one or two missing, that's fine. But we're actually gonna fix this, okay? So what they mean by outbound links here is there's this page, there's nothing linking out to an authoritative site. So I might do, you know, this right here, I might do www.facebook.com, and that'll fix that issue. And then also when we do the company, you also wanna link back to your homepage, um, or link out to any page on your website, because, uh, what that's gonna do is it's gonna give Google a signal that um, you know it's gonna it's gonna let the spiders on your website crawl easier because you're linking to other sites, so they're gonna find other pages easier. Okay, so we're gonna do um, cool. So that's really what we want to do. So then that error should be fixed. And then the last thing is the focus keyword does not appear in the first paragraph. I thought we did that. Let's just make sure that we did that. Nargitech Social Media Company. I put marketing. That's why. Okay. So when you go down, it'll be fixed. So that's on-page optimization, guys. Now, I can see in the near future in 2018, Yoast telling you to put in a video because YouTube is becoming, you know, the biggest search platform nowadays because everybody wants to see visual stuff. But um, once you're done, you just want to make sure this is green. This is green. You're going to want to click publish. And just because you click publish doesn't mean that your page is now visible with Google. So what you want to do is you want to head over to your Google search console Make sure you click on the um, actual website. This used to be what they called Webmaster Tools. And then what you want to do is you want to go right over to your website. And you also want to make sure you go to Crawl. Once you go to Crawl, you want to click Fetch as Google. And then make sure your URL is the page you just made. So let's say it's Nagatuck um, Social Media Company. Boom, click Fetch and Render. Once you do that, it's just gonna tell you that it's gonna get redirected. I think this is an error on my side, but I don't spend too much time on this. I will rank and then I fix all this later. But um, so once this is, it's gonna come back, it's gonna, you're gonna wanna click on request indexing and I'm gonna show you that. And then we're gonna type in the keyword into Google and we're just gonna see if the site ranks based on the on-page stuff. Now the keyword isn't too competitive, but the point of this video isn't to show you the ranking, it's to show you the actual, um, the signals, right? So this is this is kind of what Google looks at on your page, and if this is all checked green, it makes you're doing a great job. So um, let's cl click request indexing. Just make sure you click this. Boom, perfect. All right, guys. So I'm gonna let that sit for a little while, and then we're gonna get back to it, and we're actually gonna see if we're ranking for that page. All right, guys. So we're back, and um, as you'll see, Nagatech Social Media Company. When you scroll down, you'll see that my site is ranking first. Okay, now it's not a very competitive website, but when you do click the link, you'll notice that, um, you know, the, the on-page stuff is per it, it's perfect, right? So we have this on-page, we have the linking, everything I just showed you, and it'll allow you to actually rank your pages higher because Google will like what you're giving them. So all in all, that's how you do on-page properly for a website in 2018. And I can see this, like I said, I can see on-page optimizations changing in 2018 because of video. All right, guys, so there you have it. That's my on-page optimization type of tutorial thing. Um, just important to know, make sure you download Yoast SEO and then make sure you absolutely, positively, make sure everything is filled out in green. Your URL is the keyword you're trying to rank for and if you follow those steps um, and, you know, and add enough link juice, you should be able to rank your site on the first page of Google. Like and subscribe because we're also gonna be doing, and we're doing a whole series on this. So we're gonna take a website from ranking zero all the way to the top of Google for some keywords. So.